you know that Bodega Star Wars Story, our own Star Wars movie, is uh, upon us. Uh, is nearly it's coming out like this time next year, and we are here to talk news about it. Uh, I'm joined with my assistant Kate. Hi guys, and she will be helping me and telling me what's wrong or right. No, by the way, guys, it's just great. Yeah, and um, yeah. So news about Bodega, what it's about. So shortly after the Battle of Endor, two rogue rebels, like yeah, two rebels. I don't know if they're uh, Africa, um, yeah, two just two rebels have fled off with a mission with stolen plans that link, yes, link to the Death Star, and they are not the Death Star plans, but they are fairly close in comparison. No, they're not the Death Star plans, but they're linked, so they're similar. And um, yeah, so they they are similar, and yeah, and then a villain, the villain's name I'll tell you in a second, is is um, wanting those plans back, and uh, he will stop at nothing. He will drive homes, he will make people go homeless, and he is a lieutenant turned minister slash governor. That's what he is. He is. Um, no, I'll say in a sec. Also, his assistant. Yeah, she is the villain's assistant, and the villain's name is Raz Corel. Raz Maximilian Corel. Yeah, yeah. So as I said, he's a lieutenant. He's a lieutenant turned minister, and he will drive people out of their homes. He will drive people out of their homes and making them homeless. I'm gonna be Kate Diego. Yeah, he will. He'll drive people out of their homes, making them homeless. And they will have, well, they will die because they have no resources. And why is he driving people out of their homes? You may ask. To find the plans that Tommy and Katie, those rebels that escaped after the Battle of Endor, Escape have. Bodega. Yeah, um, yeah. So he's he's driving people out of their homes to find them, and he's putting them under imperial vacancy. So yeah, because he's trying to find the plans that those rogues, those the, those rebels at the end of the Battle of Endor. Yes, Tommy and Katie have the plans that. Uh, yeah, that they're carrying. So Coral is after them, and that's that's the length he's willing to go to to um, find those plans. Uh, oh, I need a bit help in there. Okay. So yeah, Zoira is Coral's assistant. Coral has his officer outfit, which will be mostly seen in the in the movie. And I tell you, he also has another outfit, the Death Trooper outfit. Except he is an elite commander of the Death Troopers. He may just look like a, a regular, typical Death Trooper, but he's not. He is a commander, an elite war soldier. So that is enough about the villain. Also, we will um, put up some set photos. Yeah, in a second. Uh, yeah, so we will still be talking over them. And this is mainly just what's like yeah so you can see the set photos in a second but yeah that that is news about bodega and in case you're wondering if you haven't seen the fourth trailer with the release date on it it's it comes out, Check it out now. yeah it comes out around this time next year so 5th of july 2020 yeah 5th of july 2020 if you didn't get that uh so that's when it comes oh, out <laughs> nice that that's when it comes out and yeah that's when it comes out and stuff so yeah i hope um i'm i'm looking forward to filming it the rating will be about it's, it's not it's not yet rated yet but it, i think it i think it will be a pg okay. yeah 12 a or a pg the film is going it's not the film is going to be like it's not going to be one of those long films where they're like two hours or something it's, it's going to be around 15 20 minutes so not very long, but if you want it to be long, I'm really sorry, but, but it has to be this long. Yeah, because, you know, editing films takes a lot of, um, like, splitting the clips and, and stuff. We, and oh, no, Fudge, I've died. The family goes out quite a lot, so we probably won't be able to do it. Oh. We'll, we'll probably have to... But yeah, we'll have to film it in segments. The worst case scenario is it, it doesn't come out on July 5th because we've got to edit it. But I'm sorry. 
Yeah, although another scenario that might happen is there isn't enough splits. There, we can't we can't split it enough and the split limit will be up. The split limit, by the way, it helps you like zoom in with your videos and stuff. So yeah, if, if that doesn't work, we might have to cancel um, like filming for a short period of time, but we'll always do it in the end. We always do, don't we? But yeah, thanks so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Bye, guys. Uh, may the force be with you. And yeah, just have a great day. As I said, may the force be with you. Yeah, you can see them for yourself. See ya. Bye. This is a screenshot of the planet of Bespin where the first scene takes place. This is where Zoira, uh, Coral's assistant, throws Katie. This is the villain Raz Coral's main outfit in the film. And this is his second appearance.